Welcome back, my friends, to the darkest of times on 22nd of January 1945 in Germany. We have done great things this week, but still the morale is totally terrifying. We've been wounded, we might, might need help. Our supporters are leaving us, the morale is at an all time low. What can we do? We will find out soon. Joint forces. British and US troops meet in the Ardennes and join forces. Warsaw liberated. The last German resistance in the embattled Polish capital Warsaw is broken by Polish units. Death marches and Alle Berliner. 98,000 prisoners of the German concentration and extermination camp Auschwitz are evacuated before arrival of Soviet troops. Ah, that's the death march. I'm always so close to tears with reading things like there's another umpty thousand people there and it, it, every one of that people is a person, someone, is a someone, someone you could know, a friend, a relative, a, a, a child, a father, a daughter, a mother. Let's continue. Oh. <laughs> Let's plan our missions. Our morale is, is below anything reasonable. What could we do? Well, maybe we could free prisoners. Would that be good? Maybe. It would do something. We could set up a workshop. Finally, what is our inventory? It's a couple of marks. We could definitely set up a workshop. Mm, good loot buildings, but we didn't get much from that. Uh, we have another army uniform and a fake passport. We have intel now. What can we use the intel for? That's the question too. Mm. Observe army activities would gain us even more intel. Yeah, look at that. We could print books with these two intels and paper. Risk is high, but it would probably get us something really good. Print leaflets, that's also something. So we need we need paper. We have nothing that we could do to relax here. Mm. There's something here where we could Gain access to a factory. I don't know how we could access gain access to this. We have no contacts because we have not. Um, not helped the prisoners of war. It was much too risky. Hmm. So buying paper is a thing. Getting money is a thing. Talking to the Christian community maybe is a thing. Maybe we could get contacts from that, as well as from the workers. Buying pain could open up this line, could open up Panko. Supporters and money. Supporters we will get through leaflets, probably. Where could we spread leaflets? We could spread leaflets over here. That would open up Panko. Yeah, I think we need to set up that workshop. But first we need to get people to all the missions and we need to buy paper. So we need to reserve two people here. And then we need some money collectors. Uh, setting up the workshop, anyone can do that. Look at Karin. Karin has done something cool. Uh, we could give her more propaganda or something like that. Literacy is not that important for her. We have literate, literate people. Um, the one with the highest heat is probably setting up the workshop, right? So that would be Wilhelm Etter. Let's give him that. And someone should buy paper. 
Kurt will be doing that. Um, let's see what he can get. Two to three. Six. I could get three of them then. And with more money, three to four. That would be green now. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, empathy and literacy. How about her? So it gets three to four, and with her we would get five to six. And she would get also five to six. Yeah, but they are better at other things. So let's buy the paper. And hope we get six things or something like that here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do that. It's it's good. We'll invest everything we have. And then we'll need some money. Wedding and Kreuzberg. So he's much better in Kreuzberg and she's maybe better in Wedding. Can she collect in Wedding? Yes, she can. It's balanced. And she collect in Kreuzberg. She's really good in Kreuzberg and she's she's really good in wedding. Oh okay. Here we go. Wish us luck. Here we go. Losing supporters, we're gaining some marks. Now let's get some money in. Maria Esat visits a group known supporters in Kreuzberg. And she's successful. Nice. Still 80 marks. Well, Etta rents a remote garage in Kreuzberg to print leaflets later, maybe. Gerd Hagelstein visits the people in Wedding for donations and he's extremely successful. And now we're buying paper. Code worth. Clerk takes the order and disappears. <gasps> Code worth got injured. People are leaving. We return with the paper, but we have been injured. At least we get three. The pressure has become unbearable. Neither you nor the rest of the group can go on like this. You decide to dissolve the group and hope for the best. In May 1945, the Red Army conquered Berlin. The German Reich surrendered unconditionally. The war had claimed more than 50 million lives. The pressure on and the danger the resistance fighters were in was tremendous. At the same time, the approval for the Hitler regime is unchanged among the general population. Many groups simply did not withstand the strain and dissolved after a while, like we did. Just barely. Cordworth expects the war to end any day now. It's just trying to survive. There's no wood left for heating, and in April temperatures are dropping so low again that he almost freezes to death. After the war he moves to East Germany and lives a humble life, leaving the darkest of times behind him. Now, without the group, Gerhard Hagelstein tries to avoid getting into trouble with the Gestapo or regime and hopes that Germany will lose the war and everything will be over soon. To avoid getting arrested, he goes into hiding at a friend's place. When a neighbor denounces the friend, he's caught. He's shot by a guard. With the Soviet troops getting closer and closer to Berlin, Colonel Leopold keeps her head low and tries not to get caught. Life in war-torn Berlin is hard enough, even without trying to fight against an inhuman regime. She manages to get through and organize what is needed for her and her loved ones. After the war, she moves to East Germany and lives a humble life, leaving the darkest of times behind her. Maria Eze doesn't believe in a quick end to the war and doesn't stop fighting. She believes this regime must be fought until the end to avoid getting arrested she goes into hiding at a friend's place. When a neighbor denounces the friend, she is caught. She is murdered by a guard. The group splits up. Wilhelm Etter tries to stay low and not get caught or killed. The city is cold and people are hungry and he wonders this war will ever end. After the war, he moves to East Germany and lives a humble life, leaving the darkest of times behind him. This was our group. Thank you for being with us all the time. We have failed, but there was no way to gain morale in the, in the last chapter. So, so it was just impossible.
to continue. I wonder if there's any tricks that we could have done. There probably are, but it's crazy. It's crazy. Let's see what happens now. The Wert Herzberg Gruppe was active from 1st of February 1933 to 22nd of January 1945. At its peak, it had five members and 183 supporters. Some people still remember the courageous men and women of the Wert Herzberg Gruppe today. You are not responsible for what happened, but you certainly are responsible for preventing it from happening again. Max Mannheimer, author, painter, Holocaust survivor. Yeah, Inge Herzberg, who, lived, who left us so early. Well, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This was the end of the darkest of times. We didn't really make it to the end. It seemed impossible to me. It probably isn't. There's probably someone who is who's really a very good resistance fighter who will be able to do it. Maybe you can become one. It's a really fun and gripping game. I don't know how many times one can play it through without falling victim to it. <laughs> Depression, on the other hand, resisting is pretty much something good. And I think lifting the spirits of people, which has show, shown this game, is one of, the, one of the most important things you can do in dark times. Lifting the spirits, showing compassion, helping others. Um, that will keep the humanity alive that we all need. Let's remember that. Let's not fall victim to, to, to the same demons that were awakened in Germany in these darkest of times. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.